Hi guys I hope you all are enjoying this Spoktober videos and participating in the giveaway. I have been working for months on this video so make sure to hit the subscribe button and leave a comment to keep the engagement going. There is a Spoktober special giveaway currently happening. So stay tuned till the end of the video. Now without any further ado let's get to the intro. In a certain river of Spain, screams are heard from the depth of internal pain. Sugar had been flown to Spain by a record company to produce music. He had been working with major music producers for few weeks. It was the evening time when he took a break for himself. Being in a foreign and country helps him to roam lot more freely. Sugar walked into a coffee shop and ordered himself a coffee and a sandwich. While he waited at the coffee shop he realized that it were his last few days in Spain. After clicking a picture for his SSN he grabbed a book off the coffee table. This particular books were talking about various urban legends in Spain. Reading books is something he was not fond of but he found himself captivated with this particular book. He couldn't stop reading it. By the time he went through it it was 10 at night. The cafe manager approached him so we closing down. Oh so sorry said Sugar looking around in shocked dazed. What time is it he asked the manager. So it's 10 p.m. Sugar was surprised to realize how much time had passed away. He kept the book on the table and left. The manager called out to him so you book. Sugar turned and replied it isn't mine. The manager kept the book in the lost and found box and closed the shop for the night. Though the coffee shop closed early the local Spanish culture was still awake. The tapas shops and evening markets were booming. There were a few shops giving away samples. One lady approached Sugar and handing him a sample of dark chocolate which he took happily. On the way back to his hotel he noticed a small vendor selling fishing hooks and rods. As soon as he laid eyes upon them he knew he had to go finishing once before he leaves for Korea. With the fishing rods and a bag of baits in his hand he took a taxi back to his hotel. The hotel was situated in an isolated area. It was a boutique style hotel with a few rooms. The most amazing part of the hotel was the pond behind the hotel. Sugar always found it strange why nobody ever went on the pond after the sun set. He would always come to hotel late at night after work and sit in his balcony admiring the pond late at night. Now that he had a fishing rod he had to go to fish in there. After having a light dinner Sugar went to sleep early. The alarm blared in his earring early in the morning at 4 o'clock. He made a cup of coffee for himself from the hotel pantry and took on his fishing gears. When he stepped outside the hotel he noticed he was really cold. The four on the water floated magically. He questioned himself, doubting whether he should even go there or not. But he was leaving the next day if it wasn't for now it would be a while he would come back to Spain. He walked on the dock and took a seat on the edge of it. Sugar whipped his fishing rod sending the hook far away in the water. He waited. The surroundings seemed very quiet and silent. That's when he heard it out of nowhere. A cry. It sounded as if a lady was weeping in the distance. Sugar felt a chill ran across spine. He felt a bit concerned but the area being unknown he didn't know what to do. He thought he better mind his own business. But then the cries got louder and louder. It sounded as if the lady was calling out to someone. Just then he noticed bubbles in the pond. He concentrated on the spot not noticing anywhere else. All of a sudden he heard the crying right behind him. Sugar now knew whoever it was standing right behind him. Have you seen them she blurts out sobbing. Sugar gets up and turns to face the horror. A woman in old Spanish clothing stood before him she looked distorted while she cried. Seen who masked Sugar as his voice trembled. My children. Have you seen them she said. No Sonora I haven't said Sugar as he began to gather his fishing equipment. He was on a flight mode. I don't believe you. She screamed. If you don't tell me at one where they are I'll drown you just like I drowned them. A dreadful feeling filled Sugar. He knew he could no longer stand there or he would drown. He threw his fishing gears in the water splashing the water on her. While in the process of distracting her he made a beeline to the hotel not looking back once. As soon as he reached the hotel he remembered the urban legend of La Llorona he had read at the coffee shop earlier. He stayed in his room the whole day and did not move out until it was time for him to leave. When he sat in his first class cabin he felt it easy. Thinking about the time still made him shiver. 